40s. Teresa? Thank you, Logan. Well, the new year brings new goals, and that could mean your goals of keeping your brain healthy. And joining us now with more is Amanda Lee from the Brain Balance San Diego. Amanda, thank you so much for being here. Yes, Happy New Year almost. <laughs> I know, and what a great topic. Yeah, we're always talking about mental health, but brain health. All right, so when we talk about brain health, what do you mean as far as keeping your brain healthy? Well, brain health is everything. Mental health is housed within brain health as well. And so if you're trying to keep yourself healthy, like I mentioned before, and you want to meet your goals of losing weight, feeling better, right? Reducing anxiety, improve focus, get that new promotion, whatever it may be, whether you're a child, a teenager, or an adult, we can all do things to improve our brain health, and that includes exercising our body, exercising our mind, eating well, right? Getting enough sleep, these basics that we all need, for some reason, to be reminded about year after year after year. Yeah, and let's talk about Brain Balance San Diego. You have three training facilities in San Diego, and you are the regional director right. and a certified cognitive coach. That's right. And how do you serve San Diego? So we work with uh, folks in the center, and we also work with people as a hybrid or even internationally as well, because there's literally no one like us around. Um, and what we do is we have a holistic evidence-based uh, training uh, program where we engage your sensory um, experiences along with very specific movement, along with nutrition, along with cognitive skills training to really help people meet their goals in just a few months. That's it. We really help you build up that baseline. Okay, Amanda, help us for the new year. <laughs> we have stress. We have lack of sleep. Sometimes bad nutrition, uh -huh. and it all impacts our brain. How That's can right. we Everything. improve our life for the new year? So we always talk about exercise, but it's not just any exercise. I mean, any exercise and getting your body moving is helpful, but if you can be intentional about it and really raise that heart rate especially in the morning we were talking about morning versus evening if you can get your heart rate up in the morning it will really set yourself uh, up for success the rest of the day because it it really triggers the neurotransmitters in your brain but you need to also exercise your mind learning something new you know we're constantly doom scrolling right that's not very engaging it's very sedentary as well so if you can learn something new read a book engage the brain in some way the brain loves novelty but nothing too hard nothing too easy right that's how you build new pathways is helpful but you also have to fuel the body and brain properly too so the holidays we tend to use an excuse of hey you know here oh, what's yeah. another cookie <laughs> But, you know, sugar especially really degrades the neurotransmitters in the brain. So try to have a low inflammation diet and don't make the excuse of the holidays as something to just go wild. Everything in moderation, right? Those right. are three main things. But you mentioned stress, really reducing that stress. But how do you do that, right? Planning ahead, having structure, having routine, having someone keep you accountable. And one thing I always like to mention, especially around the new year, are SMART goals. Something that's specific, measurable, and realistic especially, right? within a specific time frame. I think those are some of the main things folks can really practice, but socialize is a big part of brain health, right? You need to be able to connect with those around us. I think COVID taught us that. And along with that, um, mindfulness, just that's how you reduce that stress too, right? Being present in the moment are some of the top pillars I, I tend to uh, promote in the community. I like that. You broke it down for like eight things. We <laughs> yeah. have yeah, nutrition, yes. exercise, sleep, your body, your brain, social, uh -huh. mindfulness. Yes and the reducing stress. Wow, this yes. is so wonderful. You also have an event coming up right. mid-January. Tell us about that. So we actually have many events every single month and a lot of them are free. So you don't have to be in our program to participate. If you go to our website, BrainBalanceSanDiego.com or follow us on social media, Brain Balance San Diego, you'll see all those events. But we have a virtual open house on brain health and our adult program um, mid-January, as well as many um, programs on brain health and an active training class actually in our local libraries. We have a really great partner, partner with the San Diego Public Library. So you can check your local library and then um, uh, other webinar topics like anxiety and social skills training. That's all coming up in the next two months. So just check our website and follow us to learn more. All right, and you being a certified cognitive coach, I mean, what do you do to kind of focus on brain health and how do you relax? Yeah, so yeah. I like to practice what I, I share with the community. So I try to exercise in the morning. My main thing is being mindful and present in nature. I love hiking. So my New Year uh, day plan is always do how do what I want to do to set myself up for the rest of the year. So I always get a hike in. That's what I love to do and eat well. I really have to practice a low inflammation diet because of my own uh, challenges. So if I can stay in touch with my friends, make sure I'm moving my body, make sure I'm eating well and thinking well, it's huge. One thing I 
really talk about is what you do matters, what you eat matters, and what you think matters. So I remind myself of that every single day. I like that. And I'm sure you are just motivating so many people <laughs> for the new year. Amanda Lee, thank you thank so much. Thank you, yes. With Brain Balance Happy San Diego. New year. Happy New Year too as well.